Okay. And go over here. Pop this out. Got it. Disappear. Now this should be okay. Let me look at that. Just want to play video games. I trying <laughs> trying to figure out how to fucking put my YouTube chat. This is the first time I'm streaming the YouTube. I've streamed on Twitch a couple times. I'm at the top, mom. You sure are scum. Oh wait, my fucking I have a different John. That's showing up there. Let me hide that. Let me... Yeah. Hey, scum, keep talking. <laughs> Pre-existing... Pre-existing chat widget from... Twitch is working. I think. Hmm. I just want to play video games. I would play MGS1, but I don't have a PS1. Well, do you have a computer? <laughs> I'll introduce you to the world of emulation. Where the fuck is my YouTube chat? Chat's clearly not working. You know, I thought it was. You don't have a computer? <laughs> you have a computer? <laughs> oh my god, my chat's popping up out of nowhere. Maybe it took a long time? This shit doesn't make any sense to me. Say something again. I'll say something again. Test. Oh, shit. I think this chat bot works now. If you have a PS3, you can play MGS1. Not, I mean, you could play literally the disc. Was I talking? I think I was talking. I didn't have myself in the headphones. Um, if you have a PS3... You can play the digital version and the, uh, you got the digital version and you got the fucking, whatever. You get what I'm saying.
I didn't think you guy would show up. I'm trying to figure shit out. <laughs> what are y'all doing here? Again, I streamed on Twitch before, but I never streamed on uh, YouTube. So I'm trying to make sure all the shit translates right. Four is pretty good. I'm not going to say four isn't good. Um, MGS2 might be my favorite. The chat is inconsistent at best. It seems to be fucking ass. But I lost my YouTube chat. Let me add a capture window. Capture window to capture this. That is my YouTube chat. Um... So if that is my YouTube chat, this Rising is pretty good. Rising, if you accept it for what it is, is pretty fun. Hide the YouTube chat. Capture window is here. That, nope, wrong capture window. Um, capture window two. That's capture window two. I will hide me, right? Let me. If I change the size of this, does that change anything? It does. So I want that like here. I want it under me. So I'll put that below. Want that under me, maybe right there. Make it longer, but I want it to hide if I type. I think that's good because now if I type, it still shows the last message. This looks good to me. Do you believe love can form even on a battlefield? And if I make this, no. Some people do. Snake does. Solid Snake believes love can form even on a battlefield. I think that looks good. Uh, continue. Your uncle? That is wife. At war or like on? Define at war or in war. Because that sounds neat. I hope my controller works. All right. I did a lot of setup at war. Did a lot of setup now. I hope this chills. At war, in war. Where they, they were fighting together. They were chilling. They were at base together. 
I was getting comfortable. I'm fucking all the way off screen. She was a med paramedic, not paramedic, but <laughs> and I'm assuming your dad was like on front lines or maybe he was an engineer. Scum, does everything sound okay? Does this look, look good, sound good? You're my first YouTube stream gonna I'm gonna pick your brain a little bit. Perfect. Oh, no. Exactly enough bullets. It's okay, but turn up. Turn up the whole stream, turn up my mic, or turn up the game audio. Or do you want me to get turn game audio? see if that's just music but the music is really good in this game come on don't lock on Uh, and then the body will make me... I almost ran out of bullets there. I'm gonna run out of time! I just gotta go. Thank God. Clutch. <laughs> Clutched. It's fine. He said, damn, it's fine. Oh no. Four had good music. Um, but it's also like very reminiscent of the older music. Um, a lot of motifs going on. I also really like. Um, there's like a kind of cybery ness to two that I really like. Still got my cardboard box. Should be able to run up, shoot him, select my box. This level has given me a lot of trouble, man. This is not an easy one at all, especially because of these two cameras that overlap. I'm hoping, I thought I could, I don't have enough bullets now to even finish. So I got to get up there and choke them out. I, I, I didn't have enough. It was going to be hard. Final boss of four is the best boss music in the games. Well, the fun thing about the boss music in four is that it's the, um, it's motif. It's, it's the boss music of every game. when you're literally beating the liquid out of liquid. You're beating the liquid out of Ocelot. Five bullets. <gasps> ah! 
Oh no! If I was better, I almost had it. That shit was scary. Oh no, I accidentally opened Word. <laughs> So this is, I, uh, this one genuinely is like so hard for me. I'm going to get caught. No, I'm not. I learned a lot about how these cones are misleading. The field of view cones on the radar. Oh. They're misleading until they are the fucking like most pinpoint accurate shit in the world. Um, well, not the boss, it's Ocelot. Technically, uh, the boss is the boss of MGS3. The boss is the best. Maybe I'm reading these wrong. Um, final boss for four is the best boss in the games. The boss is the best. Liquid and the boss. I think that the boss at the end of MGS3 is... <laughs> the reason why it was confusing to read this, did you ever see that speedrunner um, at, at a recent 80... Fuck. Uh, recent games done quick... He said, this is the, uh, what did he say? He said, this is the end, which is not the final boss because the final boss is the boss at the end. <laughs> like all of that is technically true, but sounds insane. The, the field of view cones lie, man. They're lies. The the lore is good. The lore is like insane, actually. I think some of the there's like some of the forgotten lore. I mean, if you're I don't know if you're subscribed to my channel at all, but I try to go through a lot of the um, a lot of the hidden details of MGS. And maybe if I if I keep going, I'll get to MGS three, but. Some of the things that I uh, like to talk, I, I think people forget some of those codec calls that mean a lot, specifically about how Ocelot is the, this was close. Oh, he's gonna check on me, the box. Don't kick it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> um, about how Ocelot is the boss is son. Five is of course canon. Um, five exists to like fix a loophole no one cared about, which is how you fight. Uh, you fight big boss in Metal Gear and Metal Gear Two Solid Snake, and. Uh, I don't know anybody that thought that was like a plot hole, but Kojima apparently thought it was a plot hole, so he created an entirely separate character. So you fight Venom Snake in MGS, not MGS, in Metal Gear 1, and you fight the actual big boss in Big uh, Solid Snake, Metal Gear Solid Snake. Doing these VR missions and talking is a little hard. <laughs> That's the first one I got like a good work on. Um, I'm doing it, Mom. It kind of makes sense. It's like... It's unnecessary is what it is. No one needed... No one needed to fill that plot hole. No one even thought of that as a plot hole. 
because it was a fucking Nintendo. No, it, well, before it was a Nintendo game, it was a MSX game. So it's like no one thought you just you know. At the end of every Mega Man, you fight Doctor Wily. The Metal Gear One, Metal Gear Two, both you fight Big Boss. Like no one thought it was that big of a plot hole. But Kojima wanted to fill it. So, fuck! So there's two big bosses. One in Zanzibar Land and uh, one wherever the first Metal Gear took place. I fucking forget. The lore is insane. Oh, I shot him. Okay. I never got around to doing, like, all... Okay. I never, like, a hundred percent... I know, like, literally the fucking thumbnail of this stream says a hundred percent all these missions. But it, I usually don't, like, a hundred percent games. I do about as much that is fun. So it's like, for MGS Substance Edition, I've, it's not like I've gotten 100% of all dog tags, but I think that's true. But I believe I got enough to get like this. There's a wig for 100%. There's a wig in MGS2 for infinite ammo, and then I think there's a wig for stealth. I did enough to get the infinite ammo. I don't think I ever did enough to get stealth. Pretty sure. God! Fuck, man. Did not like the wig. I definitely agree with you. I think giving Raiden a bandana would have been cooler than giving him different colored wigs. But it's in the uh, it's in the campiness of it, man. Like I get it. Oh god! Thank God I fell. Don't see me. I got him. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna run out of time. Fucking. This is stealth mode, and then there was. This is stealth mode with the SOCOM. So, what's after this? Are there more stealth modes? Or is it... This is it afterwards. Then you just go on to weapon modes and shit. Fuck. Yeah, in MGS5 you had to develop them, right? Like, stealth also existed in 5. It wasn't like unlockable for beating the game though is unlockable through like a fuck ton of materials which is a different approach and it oh god and it makes sense within the game um metal gear 5 was kind of made to be played at infinite rather than like beaten multiple times like if you wanted to play a level again you could just play the level again but if I wanted to, thank God, if I wanted to, you know, fight the end in MGS3, I had to play the whole game to get there. So, it makes sense for the type of game that it was. Whether or not, fuck, whether or not you vibed with it exactly or not was <laughs> a different story. Um, I also think that 5 was 
Five's poetic in the sense of like whether or not it was finished or not. Obviously, I don't know. That's a whole fucking conversation. That makes sense too, right? So it's, um, I mean, I don't know. Was, was, in MGS3, MGS3, there wasn't an infinite bandana. It was, um, it was infinite face paint after you caught a specific animal. Fuck. Know what I'm saying? You remember that face paint? Oh, uh, there it was the Patriot gun. Um, the Patriot gun specifically had infinite ammo. So you're right. You did get infinite ammo for beating the game once, but I'm pretty sure. Um, there was a specific am animal that you had to- shit, 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 shit. You had to capture alive. And if you caught it alive and kept it the entire game, you got to, uh, let me look. What the fuck was the face paint that you got for capturing the thing? Infinity face paint, MGS3. Oh. I couldn't find anything because it was in the fucking news tab for some reason. Uh, face paint. There's the black face paint. Brown face paint gave you infinite infinity face paint. Can I get a fucking, like, okay. Oh, maybe it was from shooting all the frogs? This was it. Search this. Uh, MGS3. By... What do you get if you keep it the whole game? Tips for catching it. I'm just trying to remember. If the player finishes MGS3 with this animal I can't pronounce still with them, they will be awarded the rank of that animal and be given the infinity face paint, which gives Snake infinite ammo when worn. That's what it was. You will feed on a tree frog. Um, so yeah, so yeah, there was, um, there was the Patriot gun, which gave you infinite ammo, but there was also the, uh, face paint, which gave you infinite ammo, like for every gun. No, I'm saying, get what I'm saying there. I don't rem do you remember what happens if you eat not eat all the tree frogs um is this the last level if you shoot all the frogs what do you get Fuck. 
Who is that? Um, something happens if you shoot all those frogs. That's an achievement I never got. I've tried like several times. That might be how you get stealth. I think that's how you get the stealth camo is you have to shoot all the frogs. Which is insane, right? Because in MGS1, you get you get the stealth camo for doing the non-canon ending. So it's just funny that the non-can- Oh god, I almost walked straight into that camera. It's funny that the non-canon ending gives you like probably the best item in the entire game. Because I've, I've, the bandana comes in handy. I'm not going to say that it doesn't. I've made like two or three videos already about how the bandana is awesome. All right, 20 seconds to go shoot this guy and run back. Um, so the bandana rocks. I'm not going to say that it doesn't. But the stealth camo is obviously the better reward. It not only lets you skip the... Damn. And it lets you skip the like laser hallway before you fight Raven. So that, in and of itself for me, makes it awesome. But you also, like, you know, you're fucking invisible. Let's see, practice. I never did this one, apparently. Uh, you don't have to think about it very much at all. The, the, the entire Metal Gear franchise is extremely anti-war. God damn. It's just a funny like concept of with it being anti-war. So it's like even especially two. Two is like, hey, isn't it fucked up that like the world is con controlled by computers and our soldiers are being put through virtual reality training. And while they're doing that, they're fucking showing footage of Metal Gear Solid VR missions, man. Like. War is a fun game to play, but when real life war becomes a game, it's pretty fucked up. Yeah. Impressive snake. Anime TV show would be interesting. Um, obviously, movie is always thrown out there. Movie is like almost a thing, but it's in development hell right now. They don't know what the fuck to like write. They have the i. They have the actor. They have the. Uh, they have everything, but they don't have the script. Look at that, like a pro. Number one, two seconds flat. Has anyone ever been that good? What are the speed run records for this shit, man? I bet I can. I bet I can compete. In Rising, we see a lot of shit. Rise, Rising is like... Camp as fuck. It's cringe as fuck at times. But it's also so good. Especially the memes that we get from it. Like Nano Machine's son. Nano Machine's son. I fucking love Nano Machine's son. That you got riding going memes or in my blood or wherever. I played this in the practice. I didn't realize we're on a fucking smiley face. B 
Meme. That's but that's the funny thing about Kojima, man. He fucking he was talking about DNA and the reproduction of your DNA and all that shit. But like, he didn't fucking know it. He used meme before everyone else used meme. That's why we love him. That's why he's he predicts the future, man. Did you guys play uh, Death Stranding? Another Kojima title? Were you looking forward to uh, Silent Hills, which never got made, but now there's like two Silent Hill games coming out? That's pretty cool. I, I appreciate, not appreciate, I think it's funny when DNA comes up because the, look, you can learn a lot about shit like nuclear pro proliferation and how fucking the world would end if not, if the nuclear weapons is like the closest that will come to like man-made extinction and all that i'm gonna make it i made it so when it comes to its anti-nuke yeah. message it's great when it comes to um when it comes to talking about dna there's a lot of shit in there that's just not true <laughs> like i don't fucking know man i you can't genome gene therapy is a thing but you're not going to like, I don't know. You can't just put like the cell. Uh, okay. So like solid snake and the uh, liquid snake, you got all the dominant genes and I got all the recessive genes. Like that's not how genes <laughs> that's not how genes work there isn't like the good genes and the bad genes there's just you know genes like brown hair is a more dominant gene than fucking uh blonde hair like it doesn't mean brown hair is worse because also like um uh, no, i was gonna say um I was going to say that Ocelot, not Ocelot, uh, Ocelot is like, okay, he was a, it's like 16, in, let's do math, we can do math together, Ocelot was like 16, 18 in the 60s, and I feel like 4 took place in like the year 2012 or something. So 1960 minus 10 years because he's like, not 10 years, minus 18 years, minus 2012. Ocelot's like 70 in four. But uh, Solid Snake, I think is only like 40, but he looks old as shit because of Fox die. Um, with the gene shit I was going to say that you could make the argument that with the recessive genes and all that that um, snake ha uh, solid snake has brown hair and liquid snake has blonde hair like that's recessive and dominant genes but um, Solid Snake also has blonde hair. He 
he just dies it because he doesn't want to look like liquid. So even in like its weird dominant, non-dominant, um, dominant recessive gene like shit that it talks about, it's not, it's not even consistent in that. I still love it though. The idea that you can like just throw some, uh, you could just throw some Master Chief genes my way and I'll become the fucking greatest warrior that's ever existed. Who would win in a fight, Master Chief or Solid Snake? <laughs> It's insane that this is Metal Gear. <laughs> this doesn't... I, I'm also surprised I shot them all. If you think, sorry, I'm texting my wife. If you think Let me read your let me read your chat. If you think about it, if they didn't clone Big Boss and let him have his kids, they could have the ultimate soldier. So, Big Boss could not have children. Um, which is why they had to clone him. Trying to remember why? I think it had something to do with radiation from some kind of missile tests. He was, like, involved in the front lines and got his balls got too fucked up. It was, it was similar with the boss. The boss had one kid, and she, uh, after that, she wasn't able to have any more kids. But that's, that was the whole, that was the whole thing with, uh, Zero, is, in Cypher, where... When Big Boss was in a coma, they thought they were going to lose their, like, hero, their American face of war. So they couldn't just let that go. So they took his DNA. If, right? If his balls worked, they would have fucking, I don't know, man. They probably would have jacked him off in the coma and put his sperm somewhere else. Again, I can't believe this is Metal Gear. This shit is looks insane. I think I'll run out of ammo if I just spray and pray i was about to ask if i have health and my health bar is so tiny <laughs> oh no nice there's also like um all these 
item descriptions look different than the base game. I also know... What are other things I know about this game? I swore... There it is. I was like, I swore a fucking crystal came from behind me at some point. The, um... Kind of the whole reason this game exists is because um, during the when they were making the European version of this game, they didn't have to do anything because the game was already done. They weren't going to add anything. I guess they, they made a couple adjustments with the integral version being first person mode, but there wasn't anything major different. I'm not going to have time. Yeah. Um, they were going to for the for the European version. They were going to. They just had all this time, and they thought the VR missions were really fun. So rather than like doing anything for the European version, they just made more VR levels. But even that, they didn't have enough time. I haven't done any of them, but there's mystery levels. Um, and they, they, I read an interview saying if if there if we could have done more, I would have done more of those mystery levels because they're really fun to make. So I hope I have fun playing them. Um, I don't know how many fucking missions for weapons I'm gonna have to do. I don't know if you ever played the VR missions for two, but the VR missions for two they are. There's a lot of them, and they're repetitive as fuck. What if Jack was a clone of Liquid? That would be cool. Jack like Raiden? Radden? Um, advanced mode. What is advanced mode? Yeah, mystery. I want to play mystery. I don't know how to unlock it, though. All right. So. Sneaking mode is done. Completed sneaking mode. There's a fuck ton of weapon modes. Just did the Famas. Let's go into advanced mode. See what advanced mode has cooking. Gray Fox mode, man. I don't. <laughs> that's not gonna be until like a hundred. I gotta get all the percentage to do that one. Advanced mode. Am I allowed? It's a very important question. Okay. I was gonna say, am I allowed to be spotted? I need to know these things. Um. Okay, so Jack, the reason why Raiden couldn't be a clone. Very important uh, for Metal Gear 2. So the reason why you needed a different character was because the... The... Have you heard Hideo Kojima say that there's multiple themes for Metal Gear where the first one is... Um... The first one is Gene, the second one is Meme, and the third one is Scene. And... God damn it. Whoop, 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 whoop. Fuck it, let's go. So it's kind of like the first game was, can you make the ultimate soldier through gene manipulation. And then the second one was, can you make the ultimate soldier through meme? And meme, as you already stated, has to do with the DNA, which is the repeatable production of. So, can we... Had to check via rations. So the second game, if the first game is, can we create the ultimate soldier through genes, even being, you know, Solid Snake or with 
um, the genome soldiers. The second one is, can you reproduce the scenes? Not scenes, because that's, that's the third one. Can, can, but can you reproduce the events that made Solid Snake the ultimate soldier? Because at that point, um, they acknowledge Solid Snake as the ultimate soldier rather than Big Boss. Uh, especially because he was the lesser clone that ultimately beat uh, Liquid. If you remember the end credit scene where the wrong clone won. Um, so that's where Raiden comes in. Where Raiden was... In order to test it, you had to not have someone related to Big Boss. So they had... Um, a completely new person go through the events of Shadow Moses to see whether or not to see if you could reproduce the results of Shadow Moses through the testing of Shadow Moses. So Jack was the son, adopted son of um, Solidus, similar to how Snake was kind of the son of Big Boss and then Dead Cell represents Foxhound and uh, fucking the computer virus Ocelot says reproduces the effects of Fox Day. So if if Raiden became the ultimate soldier after um after the events of the Big Shell if Raiden became like the greatest soldier ever to mirror Solid Snake we would have been like oh fuck it's not about your genes. It's about your... This is, like, really interesting to me. And I'm stumbling over my words. I'm going to write a whole fucking video essay, kind of, about... Um, about... Uh, MGS2. MGS2 is so fucking good. But... If... The... So there's your environment, and then there's your DNA, right? There's... Uh, what is it? Nature versus nurture nature versus nurture so if metal gear one is nature can is it only the dna that makes an amazing soldier and then two is nur uh, nurture which is can your environment create the ultimate soldier so those were the two tests and then for the third game you literally go back and play the uh you play big boss the ultimate soldier and it's not so much about when he says the theme is a uh, scene it's kind of more about why people become enemies um <laughs> it's a whole fucking thing um you're in seventh grade and hate powerpoint i'm trying to remember when i was in seventh grade if i would have played all the metal gear games I think I did. That sounds like me. So if you're in seventh grade, do you know about like scene versus a... Uh, what is it called? Nature versus nurture? Environment versus... Uh, environment versus your genetics? Are you born with it or did your environment like cause you to be de become that? Are certain people smarter because their genetics make them smarter or do they have some kind of culture or uh, environment that they're raised in that makes them smarter? Similar thing for is a uh, is big boss the ultimate soldier because he was his genes make him the ultimate soldier? Or did he become the ultimate soldier because of pressure applied in the real world that had to harden him and make him become that. Good work. You're as good as they said. My camera's out of focus. Why? Hey. Resident Evil 4? Did you see the trailer for the new one? It looks fucking sick.
Mega Man Zero was um, and Mega Man X. Mega Man Zero. I've never played Mega Man Zero. Mega Man X. I've played some of. Um, I never. Not gonna buy it. Why not, man? It looks good. It looks sick. Are you gonna watch some YouTubers play it? Can I play? No, I have to, uh, so in order, so advanced mode, Jesus Christ. Sneaking unlocked weapons, weapons unlocked, advanced mode if you beat the ed. I just wanna, I just wanna play the mystery modes. I gotta do all the weapons. That's why I never finished, um, I've never completed the VR missions for MGS2 because that shit is fucking insane. You got to play like five different characters, the same fucking levels over and over and over. Like, I just want to, I appreciate, I was going to say, how do these guys not hear me? I like the, like, testing of the mechanics. It just proves how good the mechanics are, that you can make a whole game just around the mechanics. But, like, I need variety. I, I crave variety. It's got what gamers crave. Impressive sneak. What are you going to buy? What's your game of the year, man? What have you been playing this year? Uh-oh. <laughs> ah, that hurts. Um, let's see. Because old stuff is hard to play, not like new games where you have to choose your style. Um, I don't think that's necessarily a new versus old concept of games. Um, for instance, we're playing Metal Gear Solid right now. You can't really... Um, Metal Gear didn't let you... like. Metal Gear 5 did, and 4 to some extent let you be kind of aggressive and um, it kind of let you take that action role. That was also kind of the theme of 4 is uh, it was kind of a foil to Call of Duty and stuff like that at the time. But you couldn't just play in... F I'm gonna die. Um... I gotta be smarter about this next time. If if you like just wanted to throw on the bandana and just like fucking murder as many dudes as possible, you could do that, but you couldn't progress until the game like was done. I didn't mind Call of Duty for a while. I played Call of Duty 3, which was the um it was very much like World War II when it was still that shit. I'm gonna die again. I accidentally crawled on my belly like the snake I am. Um, 
So Call of Duty, like, I played 3, and I played Modern Warfare 2. That was one of the first Xbox games I got. I played the fuck out of that. And it was a lot of fun, but it was definitely the repetitiveness of same game coming out every year. Came, uh, like, on cue. That's why I kind of got tired of... Um, Oh man, come on. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Thank God, thank God. Um, it was the same thing with Assassin's Creed. I got tired of Assassin's Creed just because it felt like the same thing over and over. But uh, Metal Gear 4 was made to be like a... Um, a foil. It was made to be different. It was made like... It was on purpose, like Snake was old. Snake didn't fit in with the current genre. Um, it was it was mocking. Uh, if, you know, if 2 was making not light of the fact that we were training people to be soldiers with VR training, uh, 4 wasn't going to be kind with the fact that um, the most popular games are war simulators. So 4 was not like... 4, four in its theming was anti-Call of Duty. But... No gear in first person. That was a, There's a first person mode in this. Not in this, but in the integral version. Yeah. Call of Duty is also a lot more annoying because it tries to like maintain this image that it's not political. Meanwhile, you're like, I don't know. I don't want to get into that. But if your game is about war, you're obviously a fucking political game. And... You can, with that, with that knowledge, right? Even if you're a World War II game, if you're, fuck, even if you're a World War II game, like, if you're playing as the Nazis, you're, or if you're playing against the Nazis, uh, there's going to be a political statement in whether or not your main character is on the Allies or the Axis. So if, like, you know. The front lines, not the front lines. If your main character is Polish or American, then it's going to present itself as fuck. It's going to present itself as a um, pro-American anti-Nazi game, which is a political statement. Like, how can you argue that? In Call of Duty, it's getting to how your rising levels of war is good. So, uh, like. I don't know. The problem is that they don't say anything. That's the actual problem. Is if you're a war game and it's if and it's like I keep we keep trading shots with each other. If you're a war game and it's confusing as to whether or not you're pro or anti-war, you are doing a bad job as a storyteller. Um, Metal Gear, you are constantly like. It's you're constantly talking about war, but I don't think that there's any confusion as to whether or not nuclear war is good or bad. Like, it's very prominently a bad thing through and through in every game of the series. Come on, the same guy. I keep we keep fucking trading with each other. Run and gun. Run and gun. The opposite of Metal Gear fighting. Thank you. We did it. It's just, like, games... I'm not going to shit on Call of Duty as, like, a mindless... I won't shit on Call of Duty online. 
right? I think playing fighter games, shooting first person shooter games are fun. <laughs> um, I especially love co-op. I love like call, um, Black Ops for uh, Call of Duty Zombies. Like Call of Duty Zombies was fun as fuck. I'm not gonna deny that. But as a single player experience, it leaves much to be desired from the fact that it refuses to take a stance while also obviously taking a stance. Impressive Call of Duty, uh, not Call of Duty, <laughs> Call of Duty Brotherhood. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood was fucking, I don't remember. I don't think I played it. I played two. I played Call of Duty 1, 2. Um, I keep saying fucking Call of Duty. Um, here's my Assassin's Creed. And it's funny that we're bringing up Assassin's Creed because uh, MGS4 had the Altair costume. So it is a little related. I couldn't, I couldn't see him, man. I was going to die. I got scared. Um, I've played, I played call, uh, Assassin's Creed 1. That was one of the first games I ever beat on Xbox. But the first Xbox games I got were Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, and Assassin's Creed 1, followed by Fallout 3. Come the fuck on, man. Was it Ezio? Was it Ezio or Altair that you got the costume for? Um, could be either. I don't remember. Ezio sounds right. This dude sneezes. <gasps> Stop. Oh, God. Thank God. I'm pretty sure the red bullets of the famous trace a little bit, and that's what saved me right there. Impressive sneak. Um, so the I played one. One is one was amazing, right? No one's gonna disagree. Assassin's Creed One was really good. So I played one, and I played two years later, but I never got to. Brotherhood or Re Revelations. You got it. Okay. So I don't know when you played, right? But the free running like mechanics, I mean, they they were, they made their way into Metal Gear, right? Metal Gear 5 has limited like free running mechanics. Those were new. Like those didn't exist really. They, they, I'm, you never, never say they didn't exist because to some extent, like some indie game somewhere came up with the mechanics, but the free running stuff was not popular. And Assassin's Creed came in and fucking changed video games forever, man. Like the free running style, it, it's similar with like Batman Arkham Asylum. Like say what you want about Arkham Asylum, but um, the parrying system from both Assassin's Creed and Arkham Asylum like straight up changed video games for a long time. Look at that. Look at that. Like a pro. Who's done it better? No one that soon. Um. And I played a lot of two. Like I did this. I did the stupid ass. Um collect all the feathers to get the cape at the end like waste of time that's what i was saying earlier about like 100 percent in games like is it really worth my time oh my god bro it was insane like you spent all your time getting the collecting feathers in order to God, two, two is all it takes and I die? You spend all your time collecting feathers to 
get a cape that allowed you to always be on alert with the guards. Like, what a what a shit reward. But I, let's be honest, I didn't do that shit for the fucking in-game reward, right? I did that shit for the achievement. I was an achievement hunter. Shaping young minds like you. True. Um. I mean, what's like, what's out now? Right? If I go to Steam. Right? Let's go to Steam. What's on, what's on Steam right now? Get my OBS out of the way so I can look at this. Um, bro, Spider-Man, Spider-Man's a good fucking game. God of War, pretty good game. These are, I just said two Sony exclusives in a row, but they're on PC. Um, Bad for Blood was, Back for Blood was good. Sims 4, I think that's getting like a thing. What is on Top Sellers? Sonic Frontiers I heard was good. Apex Legends isn't bad. So here's the thing about like current gaming is fucking you have so many free options, man. Like when I was growing up, yeah, you got what you got, right? I played Spyro 2 for years because that's what we had. I could play if I right now, no money, play Destiny, play fucking Apex Legends, bro. Elden Ring was really good. Um, let's see. Gotham Knight. Gotham Knights has the positive. Um, I'm gonna play that eventually. I'm gonna wait for it to not be sixty dollars and wait for a couple sales. But eventually, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, fucking Master Duel is free to play. Um, Among Us VR. But Among Us, Among Us was a. Super fun to play. That was like five bucks. Took the world by storm. Um, sea of Thieves, Stardew Valley. Just uh, <laughs> I'm not saying play these games. Marvel Snap, bro. I've been playing. I've been playing Marvel Snap up the ass on my phone. RuneScape, Fallout. Like, there's a. There's a lot of games right now that is like, I don't think it's a, uh, I don't know. I think if you remove bias, it's kind of hard to actually determine like what is like, what's the best era of gaming, right? Because there's a lot of fucking good games. Don't kill me. Nice. Love May Cry 3 was good. I played a lot of fucking DMC3, man. That came back. Bro. DMC2? DMC2 was like the worst. I'm dead. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, Devil May Cry 2 was ass. And I played the fuck again. Here's the here's another difference. Is like I didn't have options, right? We fucking, we spent money to get Call it not Call of Duty. We spent money for, um, yeah, and the switching styles. So it's like, two sucked ass. And I don't think anyone would disagree that two sucked ass. Bro, I died? I didn't think I'd die. Uh... Two sucked ass. Everyone knows two sucked ass. But I bought two. We bought two. My house owned two. And, like, I wasn't not going to play it. I had to play it. We have it. So it's almost like the, um... I almost, like, didn't have the option to not play games. Because if we owned it, you had to fucking play it. What do I do here? 
like I actually have to use my brain for this one. For the Thomas, I was just sprinting, like shooting everything. Like, can I sh can I hit? Will this work? It sure does. I didn't have to think that much because there's clearly a path here to walk, but still had to think a little more than the Thomas just running and gunning. Easy. Never been easier. I'd say so. I'm going to keep this going for... Until I get tired, basically. I got to eat at some point. 15 seconds. Impressive I've been streaming for how long? Scum, I appreciate you being here, man. You, uh... You showed up and started talking to me right away. Yeah, I've been I've been streaming for about an hour. I gotta eat at some point. There was also, uh, one of the main problems of Devil May Cry 2 was as good as they said. you could beat the game, like, uh, firearms were overpowered. Like, you, like, uh, you mentioned the combos. Yeah, the gun. <laughs> Just saying gun. Um, the combos of three are, like, what makes that game awesome. Uh, the different styles... Um, all the different weapons. There was a lot of melee you could do. But you could genuinely just beat Devil May Cry 2 by just spamming Ebony and Ivory. Like, that's all you had to do. So it made the gameplay kind of shit because there was an easy mode attached to it. Come on. I've actually heard like an interesting idea about Dark Souls and how um, whether or not it's too hard or easy. And they, uh, someone said that the difficulty is based on what kind of character you run. So it's like, is... It's not so much that Dark Souls, like, match, uh, for Elden Ring, I was a mage. Mage is way easier than any Dark Soul game I've played. I just spammed the same spells from a safe distance, and it was a lot of fun, but it was basically easy mode. Um... So it was interesting that like kind of the difficulty is kind of based on whether or not you're doing a magic build or a dex build or a strength build. Like the 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 difficulty is inside the style of play that you have, which is an interesting idea. I like it a lot. It it'd be kind of like um, you could apply the same thing to like Metal Gear Solid Five where there's um you can do stealth or you could do uh, uh like weapons and you know might be easier or harder depending on the route you go okay
My big brother is older than me. I'd hope so if he's your big brother. Was a kid when MGS4 came out. I was pretty young when MGS4 came out. There's like... There, I don't know. There's no like... Um... I genuinely feel like video games are kind of a timeless passion where I don't think that the age of a game has that much impact on whether or not it's a good game or not. Um, so like Mega Man Zero is an awesome fucking game, but Mega Man 2 is an awesome fucking game. And... Mega Man 11 is an awesome game. And these are all the same concept, but they all have different art styles, but they all kind of play the same. Um, and it would be like... You have games like Shovel Knight and Hollow Knight, where... Um, they emulate the art styles and gameplay of a lot of older games. I thought, so it's like you gotta appreciate the mechanics of a game, right? So, Mega Man 11 had, what, what did they have? They had two different, like, styles on top of the regular mechanics. It was like a time slow, I think, and like a power mode. And like the, uh, like the gear shifts, like the gear shifts were cool. I like the idea of them. Impressive. Scum, are you subscribed to me? Is that how you found the stream? <laughs> because you showed up right away. Which is surprising. I wasn't expecting anyone to show up to this. How the fuck am I gonna do this? I gotta bake these, um... I gotta cook these grenades a little bit. This is hard. <laughs> Come on. Explosives are always gonna be like the hardest version of these. I might skip these for now. Too hard. Let me save. Mega Man lore is beyond me. I've never really got that involved in it. I like it though. So how did you find the stream? Because again, the second I went live, you kind of showed up and started talking. Did you see that duck? Got him. I have, I have access to the analytics, and I can see that you have consistently been here. I don't have that. The analytics aren't that good. Did you see me place it on that guy's back? That was fun. Um, I might have made a, a weird uh, YouTube short that you liked. So it's like I have the analytics in front of me, and I can see that you've been here. I've had one very consistent viewer. And I'm assuming that you. And I've had a couple people come in and come out. Um, and I'm just curious if these people... It might show me the analytics at the end. If um, these people are sub to me. Or if they're like finding me. And that would be useful information. Um, I've streamed on Twitch. And I got like... You know. A viewer here and there that will come in and chat. 
but because I've like made the YouTube shorts and I've built a little bit of a platform here, um, I thought I would get more turnout. And they have. I've seen them come. They haven't stayed in chat, but I have seen them like come in and out. Bro, I just shot. I just fucking blew those dudes up and they still live. God, thank you. Thank you. Remember my face? That's nice. I threw up, um... I have two or three or four videos on my channel that aren't YouTube shorts. Did you know you can fucking stick these to this guy, these guys' backs? Look at that. Oh no! Okay, that's fine either way. Got him. That's just... This is just fun shit. That's just fun. I wish that, like, the practice versus time attacks were a little different. You know, I'm going to do a uh, weapon mode PSG1. And I hope that by doing the PSG1, that'll let me do the, um, let me do the variety missions. Because I know the variety missions involve snipers often. Easy. Uh oh, I didn't look. As a sniper, always look before you go. That's why you need spotters. So it's like, I genuinely thought that there'd be, I guess because I have a larger presence on YouTube, I would get more people showing up to the stream and then, um, so it makes more, it makes sense that I got more people on YouTube than Twitch, but I wasn't expecting anyone to be here and I was still going to keep like some of the energy up because since I already have the channel and I upload to it uh, infrequently, um, I can like make sort of a highlight reel, sort of a like silly little video of me playing these VR missions. Come on. And then I'll throw that up on my main channel, and then hopefully people watch that and go, oh, I want to be there for the stream. And then that's kind of how, like, you start to build more of an audience. Um, so that's my goal for this. I hope I'm not too lazy and actually, like, put that out. Um, I have some time tonight, so maybe I'll, when I finish the stream, I'll start putting that together. Okay, I think it wants me to use one bullet for those, but I suck, so. I can beat, sorry, I read it, but I still had shit to say. <laughs> I can beat every Call of Duty with a sniper. So when you were, we were talking about choice earlier, like, how often in Call of Duty can you get the choice of weapons? Because it feels like sometimes your, your character is uh, locked into a certain type of weapon. So you don't really have the option. Like, at least for like some of the older ones, like not everybody in World War II had a, could just pick up a sniper. There was specific people that were the snipers. 
And that's kind of when Call of Duty still gave a fuck about being a war game. Okay, so if I go right here, what do I see? I might need the... Uh... Oh, there's only four targets. God damn it. This is giving me like... This is making my fucking skin crawl. I <laughs> um, you can pick it up by killing. Hideo Kojima would not approve of that. Especially in four, you remember? ID tags for weapons. First time I'm going to use a diazepam. I... This, this level is giving me straight up like anxiety. Where are you? You hated it in 4, but it existed in 2. 2, you couldn't just pick up guns because they didn't. They had ID tags on them. Um, 3, I don't know if they gave a lore explanation as to why you couldn't just pick up the gun of someone you killed. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't recall them giving a reason. But there's lore reasons in 2 and 4. And probably five. I don't know. Let's do... Do I have any more advanced? I can do the time attack of those. Whoa. This is cool as fuck. Can I go on this? So it's like I'm supposed to use the... This is the sniper level, but who cares, right? <laughs> oh, but the, the checkpoint's all the way back there. All right, that makes sense. Supposed to be a solo mission, Colonel. It was he was major. He was major zero. Snake, this is a solo sneaking operation. Ground control to Major Tom. Scum, do you know David Bowie? And if you don't, did you know that like every character in this fucking entire franchise is based off David Bowie in some way? The Metal Gear franchise is loaded with David Bowie references. Diamond Dogs in 5 is a reference. The Man Who Sold the World is a reference. Um, it's actually a really cool thing about The Man Who Sold the World. Um... So similarly, I don't know if you know this, this is a cool little fact, probably become a YouTube video of mine in the future. Um, the man who sold the world, there's really a dude here? What the fuck? Um, the man who sold the world, that's not David Bowie singing on the cassette tape. That's actually a cover that sounds pretty close to the David Bowie one and that is thematic in the same way that Venom Snake is a lot like Big Boss but he's not exactly like Big Boss so that's a very intentional and a very cool little thing about the music in that game I'm just lost in the fucking... I got lost. Right there. Come on. 
come on. There you go. Why are they, um... You know what's interesting that I just realized? Why are... Why did we use the outside models the entire time? Like, we have two other versions of... We have two other versions of... Enemies in this game, and we're just not using them. We only use the... Alaskan models like the cold models big boss would not kill kids haha ha. I he wouldn't okay true he wouldn't kill kids but he would use children in his army <laughs> so would he kill kids no would he put children in the line of danger absolutely he would Big Boss is the bad guy. Like, let us not forget. Where the fuck is this last dude? There he is. No, come back. To the man who sold the world. This looks challenging. I would say the, um, in two, it's in Metal Gear Solid 2 VR missions. I think some of the more fun ones are the sniping ones. Except for the variety missions where you have to stop the uh, soldiers from eating the fucking curry or whatever, that shit was impossible. Um, he faked his own death throughout all of Metal Gear 4 just to show up at the end. He did not only fake his death throughout all of Metal Gear 4, he faked his death throughout all of Metal Gear Solid 1, Solid 2, and Solid 4. Like... Let's see. I'm trying to remember. Because Big Boss's body was in the demands of Metal Gear Solid 1. I believe he was still in a coma, but the remains... Yeah, he was in a coma the whole time, but they were under the assumption that he died and they wanted the remains to correct the genome soldiers. It's a whole fucking thing. Listen. I gotta eat something. And... He let it all happen. Well, he was in a fucking coma. He didn't he didn't want a lot of this to happen. He was actually furious when um he found out that they fucking cloned him. Not he was not a fan of that shit. Uh There was a lot of shit he could have prevented, but he uh he was not happy with a lot of shit either. Major Zero did a lot of shit that he disagreed with. Okay. So one minute battle. I allow... I got... One minute versus 12. I don't have... Okay. I still have a lot to do. But I'm going to end this stream. I streamed for about an hour and a half. It was fun. It was really fun talking to you. I... Hope you are subscribed or say subscribed. And um, yeah, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, this will be chopped up into some sort of YouTube video in the future. And you are going to be heavily featured because you're the only one talking to me the whole time. So hope you're cool with that. And uh, I'm going to head on out. Bye-bye.